You are about to listen to Kaku chapter 91. God remembers Israel. Preached on Thursday evening, December 3rd, 2009. In, Anyama, near, Abidjan, Ivory Coast. Extracted from the book of prophet Kaku Philippe, the only true prophet sent by the Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our generation. Kaku chapter 91, God remembers Israel. My village has just celebrated a woman pastor. They wanted me to contribute financially. Of course I did not and I will never do that. As the goads of deliverance on Paul's companions on the way to Damascus, if the angels singing above them did not produce anything on them, they will never be able to drag me into their witchcraft placing a woman in the pulpit with romances. The whole village can agree but Joshua said, As for me and my house, we will serve Jehovah. The congregation says, Amen. I have two questions here which I have to answer. Well, Brother Philippe, is it better or necessary for a servant of God to marry a virgin? And here is the answer. All right if there is any. But what is important first, it is him, the servant of God. If he has lived rather well as she has, this grace can be a right for him. If not, under the grace. A servant of God doesn't have the obligation to marry a virgin. The second question is, Brother Philippe, if the gates of our heavenly city were only opened in 2002, where were those who died since 1993 and who should get in there? Brethren, the gates. They are the different ministries here but the gate of the wall is the prophet messenger. Thus, the dead, although they were redeemed by Christ's blood, simply fell asleep like those of the Old Testament. And in 2002 when the cry sounded on earth, the gates were opened in heaven. The Catholic, Protestant, Evangelical and Branhamist veils were torn from top to bottom. And I said that when the preaching of the midnight cry sounds on earth, it rips the Catholic, Protestant, Evangelical and Branhamist nets and shakes the gates of the Hades. It was therefore in 2002, when the cry sounded that the dead in Christ and the hope of the midnight cry got in. The congregation says, Amen. Well, talking about the preaching on the mystery of the Darnel, talking about the mixed race woman in the vision of 1993, somebody told me, Brother Philippe, I know her well and he showed me an obscene picture with something like a fig tree leaf just to hide her sex and that mixed race woman they are the branimists having crucified hosea 12:14 that is what branimists serve before god doing homage to god and to the roman catholic church and that is what branimists will do one day doing homage to the catholic church which prostituted herself to bring it into the world and while the midnight cry is strengthening, they move from ism to ism, from division to division because without a living prophet, there is no more life there. Billy Paul and Joseph Branham can no more give Joseph Coleman the sincere hugs of before 1965. Billy Paul and Joseph Branham can no more give Avald Frank the sincere hugs of 1966. Avald Frank and Alexis Berlier can no more hug each other as they did 10 years ago. And Avald Frank has just banished Leonard Lifesey, his faithful companion, who was his interpreter. Oh God, please have mercy. And I asked several Branhamists, according to the anticipated vision, which lot they would get in with after their death. And I did not receive any answer. I am curious to know it. You see? The Pharisee said to Jesus, You are the one who sees things this way, we, otherwise, are neither organized nor divided. Moses said that his message will never be organized. We are united around the message with some disputes. We are all of Branham. We are sealed with him. You see? If not, how will Avald Frank, Joseph Coleman, Alexis Barrier, Leonard Lifesey, and Pierre Cass, be gathered with William Branham, while they do not get on with one another on the earth. If they are gathered with William Branham, all the Methodist tendencies will be gathered with John Wesley, and all the Lutheran tendencies today, 
will be gathered with Martin Luther. And when God will finish saving Ave Ald Frank, Joseph Coleman, Alexis Berlier, Leonard Leifsey, and Pierre Cass, he must open Moses' door so that the Pharisees, Sadducees, Essenes, Herodians, and Hellenists would be also gathered with Moses. The congregation says, Amen. And then he must save all the members of the Catholic, Protestant, Evangelical and Branhamist churches and close the hell. But that is not possible. You see? Come back to the living prophet and not to the Bible. There is no salvation apart from the living prophet of your time. And a child of God will never crucify Hosea 12:14. You see? Apart from a living prophet messenger, all those ministries of Ephesians 4:11, which are apostles, prophets, evangelists and teachers, those reverends, bishops, and others, it is banditry and what you call churches. They are cooperatives and clubs to support a bandit. The congregation says, Amen. The Catholic, Protestant, Evangelical and Branhamist leaders are bandit before God. There are divisions in churches, states are tearing one another to pieces, there are more and more political parties. All that because of the midnight cry. Not because of a man, but because of the coming down of the angel and the lamb on April 24, 1993. You see? It was not black struggle, and Mandela's 27 years in prison that put an end to the apartheid and led the blacks of South Africa to glory in April 1993, but it is the coming down of the angel that caused that. The congregation says, Amen. And it was not Martin Luther King and Malcolm X who changed blacks' condition in America, and who caused Barack Obama to be elected in America or Kofi Annan to the UN. It was not a human hand that made these things, but it is the angels coming down on April 24, 1993. The congregation says, Amen. Now, let me say this. If God is logical, Israel must belong to Jews and I will also shout that. But God teaches that. When you opt for homosexuals and lesbians, Palestinians have a divine right to be where they are at present. What their ancestors lost by worshipping the devil. You must restitute that to them if you also want to worship the same devil. The congregation says, Amen. Can homosexuals and lesbians parade on Arabs' land? No. The God of Israel, in old days, was the Jehovah the Holy Prophets preached. But Israel's God today is America. And I am not the one who has to say that to them. That is why God sends them Elijah and Moses with a message of judgment and condemnation. The congregation says, Amen. Well, Still after the preaching on the mystery of the Darnel? That makes now five sisters who have acknowledged that actually such a child is not the child of their husband. They never said this to their husband and they did not even confess it at their baptism. God had to talk about it and they be troubled for them to confess it. And I came to the conclusion that the public confession is not taken as it should be. People confess to unburden their conscience. They do not confess their sins because Daniel 12 says that they need to do it to be purified, made white and refined. But they do it to unburden their conscience. Thus there are sins that are confessed in others that will never be confessed if possible. But, also know that you will never go to heaven with sins that you purposely refused to confess. And God will make that death overtakes you with sins that you purposely refused to confess. You are free not to confess them but you will not go to heaven with that. Now, you brothers, when she confesses it, do not say, Oh brother Philippe, that is a tough thing, it is because you are not me. It is difficult to forgive the sister. Brothers, do not take it badly. Love the sister and that little innocent child who can be a child of God. You see? And at the baptism the pastor must ask couples about these things. And if one confesses that he has been unfaithful to the other after the dowry, or even without dowry but while she was living in his house, the brother or the sister cannot receive the baptism but only after he has confessed that and been forgiven by the other. These are the words of eternal life. 
everything you hear in those Catholic, Protestant, Evangelical and Branhamist churches, they are men's imaginations. You see? They are imitations. And the imitation is now getting very close to the midnight cry. So much so that a white pastor named Mark Rizzard in North Carolina, in the United States, chairing the church Amazing Grace Baptist Church announced that he would burn hundreds of false versions of Bible. Yet, he is a Baptist. A thing that had never occurred on earth before the midnight cry. For this pastor, the King James Version is the only English Bible but as for French, he does not say anything whereas the King James Version does not exist in French. He also burnt books of Billy Graham, Rick Warren, Jimmy Swaggart, Benny Hinn, John Paul II and Benedict XVI without burning those of Tommy Osborne, Yonggi Cho and others. What is this? It is imitation. The congregation says, Amen. And there is also another pastor who preaches that only the King James, Louis Sagan and Darby versions are good. And all the rest is from the devil and must be burned. But before doing that, he should give his call and his commission and in the virtue of which divine mandate he was doing that. The congregation says, Amen. Everything that does not come from the living prophet messenger of your time, they are distractions of Satan. And that should not distract you. Amen. To finish, I would like to explain a passage. Hosea chapter 1 verse 4. Never do what God did not ask you to do. You can have a divine right to do one thing. Do it if you are allowed to. God himself had mandated and commissioned Jehu saying, Thou shalt smite the house of Ahab thy master, and I will avenge the blood of my servants the prophets, and the blood of all the servants of Jehovah. And Jehu obeyed God and thus he did. You see? Read 2 Kings chapter 9 and chapter 10 and you will see that that Jehu had the same zeal and took the same way as Joab the son of Zeruiah. You say, O oh brother Philippe, it was God himself who told him to do that and even prophet Elijah said he would do it. Okay, but, how can you lay hand on Saul? Even if you took away that God did not trace. You can discipline the sons of your master if he asks it to you. But with fear and much restraint because they are the sons of your master. You will hardly obey your master in case you fail to ask him for forgiveness for his sons. But Jehu had acted as if he was fighting a hostile nation and it was obvious that, one day, when God turned from his anger, he should visit the house of Jehu to make him pay for all the evil that Jehu did in the city of Jezreel. You see? When God turned from his anger and saw Jezreel, the devastated royal city, he remembered Israel and he said, Why did Jehu not fear to exterminate all the house of my servant Ahab? little and great, free and slaves, righteous and unrighteous. And God remembered Ahab. And God was grieved and smote the house of Jehu. When God said Israel the rebel shall be deported from her land, and Jerusalem shall be plowed as a field. He had also said, You, Israel if I forsake you, let my right hand forsake me. Israel means, Married to God but Israel was deported from her land for approximately 2,000 years before returning to her own homeland in 1947 when God remembered her. But in addition to the rebellion, Israel will never be able to say before God that Jehovah is the only man I have known in my life. O you rebel Israel! O you Zipporah why have you acted that way for your shame and for the shame of your children? Why was the dowry not able to stop you from lying under another man, under another man? Because of that, God will choose a bride for himself from amongst the nations, a bride who will love him and who will remain faithful to him, even when he is no longer on the earth. The congregation says, Amen. William Branham saw his people in the anticipated vision, at the end of his ministry. While I saw mine and my lot before the beginning of my ministry. That is why he and I cannot act the same way. 
and the rebellion of Meta will never prevail on me. And he that has ears to hear, let him hear. The message of Prophet Kaku Philippe is in more than 100 sermons, in audio and written versions, and more than 20 video interviews. You can get them for free on the website www.philipkaku.org or in version for Android on Google Play.